the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra is entering the western state of Gujarat. The flagship Congress campaign march is now in its final leg. The state of Gujarat has been a stronghold of the Bharatiya Janata Party for decades now. In 2019, the BJP won all of the 26 Lok Sabha seats from the state, crushing the Congress Party's revival hopes. Now, the Congress does not seem well positioned this time as well. As Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra enters Gujarat, it will be received by a Congress reeling under a series of jolts. Over the past few days, two Congress lawmakers in the State Assembly, including veteran Arjun Mudwadia, have quit the party. The departure has come at a time when the Congress is still to recover from the 2022 Assembly results, which saw its worst ever performance in a state that it dominated till the year 1995. Rahul Gandhi is spending about three days in Gujarat. The Nyayatra is entering through Jalor in the Dahod district and traveling about 400 kilometers up to Songar before entering Maharashtra on March 10th. In the first leg of his Bharat Joro Nyayatra, the Congress president has drawn much flack for skipping Gujarat, despite the march coinciding with the 2022 assembly elections in the state. In the state assembly elections that followed, the BJP got 53.33% of the total votes. The Congress and Aam Admi Party together won nearly 40%. The two parties, who are partners in the India Alliance, have reached an agreement for Gujarat. Under the deal, the Aam Admi Party will contest on two out of 26 Lok Sabha seats, with Congress contesting on the rest. The AAP is also planning to join Rahul Gandhi's Yatra in Gujarat. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.